Hello everyone and welcome to the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Beast X Morpher Review. This is a super cool toy. I've been loving it and there's a lot of functionality, especially versus most of the morphers we've gotten in the last couple of years. It has motion activated sounds and a key, key gimmick that lets you insert keys to unlock more sounds and there's an insane amount of sounds in this morpher. Just motion activated sounds before you morph that are different from after you morph that are different from for each key each key has its own set of two motion activated sounds and its own uh button press sounds and the villain keys have their own morph the ranger keys have their own morph it's really crazy uh this set comes with three keys on a key ring of sorts the three keys are a red one for the Red Ranger, a green one for Cybervillain Blaze, and a orange one that just has one hero sound effect. The keys are of good quality, um, but the holder, the key ring of sorts, uh, is kind of really flimsy plastic, and I wouldn't personally flip out all three keys at once because uh, of worry of breaking them. There is... A lot of accuracy in the toy and it looks like the show it's almost a one-to-one -one, uh, recreation if not being slightly bigger now let's check out some of the sounds that are in the morpher right out of the box It's morphin' time. Unleash the beasts. It's morphin' time. It's morphin' time. Let's go. Rangers, it's go time. Cheetah beast power. It's morphin time. It's morphin' time! So those are a lot of cool sounds. It's there. There's morphers kind of jam packed with functionality. There's the lights are nice. Um, they definitely look 
uh, perfectly good for what they need to be. I really like the holofoil sticker uh, on that dial. The dial itself turns and um, it activates the motion activated sounds, whatever functions in at that time, but the it doesn't do change the function of the morpher in any in, in any way. The keys are the main thing to do that. They let so many different parts of the morpher be manipulated, like the mo movement sounds, the morph, the once you move the morpher enough um, for the unleashed sound for villain or hero, and also just the button press changes with every key. So it lets you have so much functionality in one morpher for a pretty reasonable price. It fits great on an adult hand and a child hand, obviously, and is perfectly sized for a morpher for this show and all of that. And I think it's a home run for Hasbro, especially coming right out of the gate, just full speed. They know what they want to do, and they're going to get it for for the Power Rangers line. I'm loving everything. The figures are great. The morpher's great. The weapons are great. I'm very happy with how Hasbro's handing, handling the toys for this brand. It's it's just great all around. Now, uh, this is probably not that good. I'm not very good at making videos, and I haven't made a review in forever, and I hate all my old reviews, so I'm very sorry if this is horrible. I just wanted to get the toy out there. Uh, I know it's it's been found in Canada only um, early, uh, it's supposed to probably not be out in the States till, uh, April 1st, um, but because of some legal stuff, we got them first, we got them a month early, um, so I'm, uh, I'm glad I can show you guys this toy and all of the functionality in it, um, since you guys will be having to wait a little bit longer for it, um, I guess... Well, you're around if you want to check out some of my friends. Um, Corey over at uh, Go Mango, uh, Josh over at Toku, uh, Toku Topics, and uh, Will J. Co. over at his channel, Will J. Co. And they're all on uh, a podcast I'm great friends with, uh, RR The Streets, every Friday at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific or 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so, come on in and hang out it's it's always a great fun it's a great time for toku twitter every friday night so i'll see you guys next time and have fun i guess